All right, what's going on everybody? It's Ethan here, coming to you today from a pretty awesome, pretty special place. Um, should be having some views pretty soon and I can't wait to show you, but this place is incredible. So I am outside of the very small town of Portal, Arizona in the Cave Creek Recreation Area which is in the Coronado National Forest. It's a uh, not so well known mountain range right on the border of Arizona and New Mexico and also very close to the Mexican border. But this area is absolutely incredible. Here's a little, a little peek at some of the stuff you'll be seeing in this canyon. This mountain range is incredible, full of some beautiful rock formations very similar to uh, Sedona actually except with like a fraction of the people so I can't wait to show you guys some more as I hike further in on this trail um, this is the South Fork Trail which goes right through the middle of Cave Creek Canyon be lots of uh, good views some waterfalls all sorts of cool stuff to see on this trail. And I'm not sure how far I'm hiking in yet. We will see. But I'm gonna at least go like three miles in. This is the uh, Cave Creek right here. Very full of snow melt right now. And we'll be following this pretty much the whole hike. And just look at those rock formations up there. What an incredible spot. Like I said, really does remind me of uh, Sedona. This trail is actually like very comparable so far to uh, a trail I did in Sedona a few years ago, which I also have a video of on this channel called uh, Boynton Canyon. And yeah, I mean, that was a very beautiful hike, as is this one. Of course, Sedona is more in Northern Arizona, and this is about as, I mean, we're pretty much at the Southeastern tip of Arizona right now. But, yeah, I mean, just looking up through the trees, you just get all these incredible views of all these red rock cliffs and formations up higher on the canyon. And it's just incredible. Very nice day today, too. It's like 60 degrees right now, sunny skies. It's just beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. As a little side note, it's a Sunday, middle of the day on a Sunday, and there were only three other cars at the trailhead. All right, entering the wilderness area. Less than a mile in, so not too far in. Still just hiking through the canyon, been mostly flat so far. And still just enjoying these epic views. It's incredible. Like the colors on those rocks. I don't know if it's coming through as well in the video but I mean, it's just so cool. Oh, 
Okay guys, well I am about maybe, I don't know, three quarters of a mile in and I've come to what evidently is the first of many, many creek crossings on this hike and it's a deep one. I mean the water levels are really high right now and I mean that looks like it's at least knee deep water and uh, from what I was just told by a couple of backpackers that were on their way out there is pretty much no way to avoid getting your feet wet. I actually tried hiking up the creek a little bit to find a better spot to cross and there's just, there's just really no way, it seems. So, I mean, it kind of seems like I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and get my feet wet, which uh, it's fine, I guess. I did bring a change of socks with me. Unfortunately, I wasn't smart enough to think to bring a change of shoes. <laughs> so, it is what it is, I suppose. Well, there's already been two water crossings. I crossed the one back there, and then there's immediately another one. Um, and I will say that the water is ice cold. It, it feels good, though. I'm not going to lie. It, it feels like, for those of you who don't know, when you uh, are hiking and you know, you're especially, I mean, obviously I just started the hike, but when you've been hiking for a long time and your ankles start getting sore, your feet start getting sore, whatever, it feels good to get your, to dip your toes, dip your feet in some ice cold water like that. But both of those crossings were like almost knee deep and they're just pretty much unavoidable. So, yeah, if you're gonna hike this trail, especially in the spring like this, just uh, don't don't think that you're gonna be able to avoid getting your feet wet because you won't. This creek is uh, more like a raging river than a creek. I mean, it is just absolutely full of snow melt. And I'll tell you something else. I mean, I don't know about this specific mountain range, but you know. This like crystal clear snow melt water that looks like this. I mean, obviously you still need to filter it, but it is some of the most crisp, delicious water you will ever taste. That's how it was, at least in Colorado. You see a creek like that in the, you know, late spring, early summer, when all the snow's melting in the Colorado mountains and yeah, scoop some water out of there, and like I said, obviously filter it, make sure it's clean, but, oh man, it's so good. Damn. That's so epic looking. And it looks like I'm coming up on a waterfall, too. And another water crossing. Small waterfall, but yeah, that is, that's so cool. This would be a nice place for like a little uh, dip, honestly. Uh, I mean, if you're allowed to cross the water, I'm pretty sure you'd be allowed to swim in it. God, I cannot stop filming this, man. This is so cool. So I think I'm about a, a mile and a half maybe in. And there's already been like six or seven creek crossings. So there's a lot. I mean, totally fucking worth it though. Holy crap. What an epic spot. And as you can see, some uh, wildflowers are starting to sprout here. 
it's about that time especially in the lower elevations gonna be seeing lots of wildflowers soon What an absolutely epic spot, man. Tell me that isn't just fucking epic right there. All the snow on the side of the peak up there. And it's just contrasted with all this red rock. Red and orange colored rock on the canyon walls. The creek flowing through here. This is <laughs> this is so cool. Honestly, I'm I would say that this is more scenic than the hike that I did in Sedona. This is like on almost on par with uh, Zion at this point. I've uh, also noticed that there's a lot of backpackers coming through here. There is a really popular backpacking route through this range called the Sky Islands Traverse. So I'm going to have to look more into that. Because, I mean, good God, this is just a, an epic spot. Okay, well I've come to a trail junction, which this actually signifies that I am at the I am at the two and a quarter mile mark. This trail junction is two and a quarter miles from the trailhead. So a lot of people turn around here, but I am going to keep going a little bit further. I want to make this a little longer than a four and a half mile hike, and it's been very easy so far. So I am actually going to go ahead and take the Burrow Trail, because I've heard that you can get some pretty epic views by hiking in a little bit further on the trail so that's the way i'm gonna go hopefully it pays off i mean either way this already is more than paid off it's a freaking beautiful hike even just into here but hopefully it gets even better we'll see well, i would say that paid off pretty immediately we just started going up a little bit not much. I mean, the creek's like right there. We're maybe up, I don't even think we're up 100 feet from it yet, but already got an epic view. Uh, you can see the trail is going to be going steadily uphill for a little while, it looks like. So, like I said, the view should just keep getting better and better the further in we hike. Like, seriously, holy shit. This is like quickly becoming my new favorite hiking spot that's, uh, you know, like day trippable from El Paso. Like, this is some of the most epic scenery I have seen in a long time. Oh, I don't know how, but this trail just keeps getting more epic. <laughs> it's crazy. I've gone up a good amount from the uh, creek, from the bottom of the canyon. I'd say I've gone up at least 600 feet, five, 600 feet, something like that. And yeah, these views up here are just, they're so amazing. I heard there's like some kind of saddle that you can hike up to. And so I'm gonna go for that. I don't know how far in it is, but I've been hiking for about probably three miles now, maybe a little over three miles. So I definitely got some more in me before I have to turn around. I mean, especially with views like that to keep me going. How could I not? Well, I think this is the saddle they were talking about. And 
oh my god what an incredible view up here i mean you get like a really amazing 360 view from right here that is so cool oh my god wow god look at these mountains all the rock formations on them this is just so cool like the contrast of colors back in here are just amazing all the red and the orange mixed with the white from the snow and the green from all the pine trees i mean god this is just like i said epic that's a, that's the best word i could think of to describe it i mean like look at the color on these rocks this is this is really a special place i mean my god this is like i said earlier this is quickly becoming my new favorite hiking spot that's you know near el paso because it's less than a three hour drive to get here i mean seriously you can't go wrong most people in el paso probably think of arizona like you know tucson phoenix which those are like you know four six hours away but this is like this was like a two hour and 45 minute drive from el paso it's really not that far i mean i'm just doing a day trip out here and i fully intend to be coming back here and uh probably doing a i would like to do a backpacking trip here because i mean this is just this is so crazy. It looks like the trail keeps going up like that way. Sorry, the poles are in the way. Hold on. That way. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. I can see the trail kind of going there. And I think it goes up. I might hike it a little bit higher. This honestly wasn't very difficult to get up here. It was like... I think I've been hiking for like a little over an hour and I think I've gone up probably about 800 feet from the trailhead. Uh, it's, it's been, I'd say three and a half miles, maybe three and a, yeah, probably about three and a half miles and about 800 feet of elevation gain. I mean, really not that bad. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn around because, um, this is this trail is actually going down it's been going down ever since that saddle i'm assuming at some point it does start going back up again but i was kind of hoping for like a more immediate payoff like i was hoping for it to go up to like there or like you know one of these little peaks uh you know like the one on to the i guess that would be the south of where that saddle was that's kind of what i was hoping for but didn't end up happening So what I think I'm going to do is I'm good. I'm definitely going to chill at that lookout uh, or that uh, saddle for a little while because those views were freaking incredible and I want to enjoy those a little more. But after that, I'm going to hike back down back to that trail, excuse me, that trail junction. And I think I'm actually going to go further down the South Fork Trail rather than going back to the trailhead because... It follows the creek, and I think there's a good chance that there's going to be another waterfall a little further in on that trail. So, we'll see. I'll probably hike another, I don't know, maybe another mile or so in on the South Fork Trail. See if I can see another waterfall, and if not, then I'll turn around and head back to the trailhead. As you can tell, I'm just kind of winging it today. Even from all the way up here, I can hear that creek just like raging down there in the canyon. It's so full of snow melt water right now. I've been sitting here for quite a while, had nothing better to do, so might as well. I am about to uh, head back down though. But yeah, this place is so cool. Now, I know this is Arizona, technically. I mean, it's right on the border of Arizona and New Mexico. But, I swear, anyone who says that, like, El Paso is super boring and there's nothing around El Paso and why would anyone ever want to live there, I will fight you over that. Because this spot that I'm at right now, it was less than a three-hour drive to get to this trailhead. Guadalupe Mountains, it's like an hour and a half away. Big Bend, Big Bend's pretty far away. It's like four hours <laughs> But, I mean, White Sands, 
Carlsbad Caverns, the you know, the mountains up in like Cloudcroft and Rio Dozo. I mean, all these places that are just like epic, the Gila National Forest, Silver City, all of that stuff's within like three or less, I, you know, I'd say like probably like two and a half hours. All those places I just mentioned are like two and a half hours or closer to El Paso. And uh, I mean, come on. And then of course, even in El Paso, you got the Franklin Mountains, you got Waco Tanks. I mean, come on. Like I said, I will fight anybody that tries to say that El Paso's, you know, boring and the scenery's horrible and it's just a flat, boring desert with nothing to do. Yeah, you, you can catch these hands. El Paso's awesome. It's not a perfect place to live, but I mean, you know, considering the fact that it's like beautiful, low crime, nice weather most of the year, uh, and super cheap cost of living. I mean, come on. I mean, I know I just kind of went off on a rant about El Paso while I'm in Arizona, but just saying. Food for thought, I guess. All right, well, my shoes and socks dried up just in time to get back down to the creek and have to cross it again. So I'm back down in Cave Creek Canyon now. And like I said, I am going to try to hike a little bit further in on the South Fork Trail and see if I can get to any other like waterfalls or, you know, something cool in the canyon. And I'll hike about, I don't know, probably about, probably about a mile in. And if I don't see anything all that interesting, I'll turn around and head back to the trailhead. Well, not exactly a waterfall, but still a pretty cool spot. I'm gonna hike maybe like another half a mile in at most. And if I don't see anything interesting, I'll turn around. Like this is a cool trail. So far, I'd say between the two, the Burrow Trail is definitely a lot, uh, a lot more scenic, but uh, if you're looking to stick to like an easier hike where you're not going to have hardly any elevation gain, then, you know, stay on the South Fork Trail because it's still been pretty much flat ever since leaving that uh, trail junction with the Burrow Trail. All right, well, this is going to be my stopping point on the South Fork Trail. I hiked about a mile past the, uh, or probably like three quarters of a mile past that trail junction, and uh, just haven't really seen anything all too interesting. I mean, it's a nice trail, but nothing like crazy like any waterfalls or epic views or anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it here and turn around. Um, really nice hike, though. I will say if you're, you know, it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, if you're looking for like an easier hike, I'd stay on the South Fork Trail. Um, but if you're looking to get some like really epic views, definitely go up the Burrow Trail because that uh, saddle that I hiked to is only a mile and a half from that trail junction and uh, it's pretty easy to get to and it's definitely well worth it. But if you're looking to stay on like a, just a flat trail, stay on the South Fork Trail. It, pretty, it remains, I, I mean I can't speak for further back, but up to this point about three miles in from the trailhead, it's been pretty much completely flat the whole time. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start heading back towards the trailhead all right well I'm back at this little waterfall tell me this wouldn't be a cool spot for a swim right here I mean the water is ice cold so you'd have to be okay with that but I think that'd be a pretty nice spot for a swim especially I mean today is a pretty not that hot of a day it's only like 65 degrees right now but especially a little for later on in the year when it's like hotter However, I don't think this uh, creek is like this for most of the year. I'm pretty sure that for most of the year, it's uh, very light flowing, if anything at all. But you can see I'm making my way across. See something else about this water is it's actually like pretty freaking clear. And all the like red and orange colored rocks under the water, I mean, this place is just so freaking cool. I can't get over it. And 
and I'm almost done with the hike. I'm less than a mile from the trailhead at this point. All right, well, I am wrapping up the hike right now. As you can see, I'm back at the trailhead, and there's like one more car here than when I left. Well, I mean, they're different cars now, but there's four cars instead of three. But anyway, yeah, that was incredibly beautiful. And once again, I did not see anybody the whole way back until I got past that last creek crossing. That last creek crossing was where I finally started seeing uh, people again. So, yeah, good time to be out here because if you don't mind, you know, going in some knee deep ice cold snow melt water you'll have this whole freaking place to yourself once you get past like half a mile in the canyon um except for maybe like an occasional backpacker but i didn't even really see any i saw uh, a couple that were backpacking out as i was going in and that was like right after that first creek crossing and that was literally like the last per last people i saw up until i got back across the creek again for the last time so anyway all said and done, this ended up being about um, uh, eight and a half miles round trip. It was uh, about uh, 800 feet of elevation gain to get up to the uh, uh, saddle viewpoint up there. And it was about a uh, thousand feet total, like net elevation gain, you know, all the way there and back. Um, so really not that bad of a hike. A lot of creek crossings down in that canyon. So do keep that in mind that you're going to have to do a lot of that but definitely well worth it in my opinion. And if you're really crazy, go for a swim in that water. It's freezing cold. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for now. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome hiking adventures. And I'll see you guys soon for the next one.